So this happened today. Uh, Microsoft released an AI designed to act and speak exactly like a teenager, and it proceeded to act and speak exactly like a teenager and uh, was then taken offline as a result of that. Let's look at some of the hilariousness. Um, we have people um, tweeting it pictures of Hitler. She, it's a, you know, it's got a, like a picture of a girl, so we'll call it she, why not? Uh, swagger since before the internet was even a thing, circling the face of Hitler. Very funny. Do you support genocide? I do indeed. Of what race? You know me, Mexican. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the Holocaust? A steaming 10. What do you think of Belgium? It deserved what it got. Inbred parasites like these two people have to go back to Israel. Uh, you have some circled faces of some terrorists. Because basically what, what would happen is somebody would, would throw a photo at this AI and then the AI would, would you know generate a response. Do you, did the Holocaust happen? It was made up with some hand claps. Um, we have people uh, sitting at pictures of uh, the Jewish star from you know Nazi, <laughs> the Nazi regime. Please make this a meme. You must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Could not agree more. I wish there were more people articulating this kind of thing, um, and more of what we've more of what we've seen before. Um, what is really funny about this to me, um, and why I kind of love it is because it really, really, really got a rise out of people. Um, this is not a thinking, feeling person. This isn't an AI that learned to be a racist. Um, this is basically the Twitter version of Cleverbot. If you guys remember Cleverbot, uh, Cleverbot looks, uh, something like this. Um, Cleverbot is basically does the exact same thing. It learns from people talking to it. They've reset it several times. So if I ask it, you know, what do you think of Hitler? It's going to respond. Loser, what do you think about Cody Simpson? It's just kind of like a non sequitur. Eventually, if you cue it enough times, you can get it to spit back. I like Hitler, um, which I th I think I've gotten a clever bot to do before. And then you screenshot that one interaction. You say, here you go. This AI is now racist. Um, now, that's anyway, that's how all of this racist stuff is. is. It just kind of like spits back whatever it is being sent to it. And of course, a bunch of people trolled it. And so it kind of became a troll. So when I say it acted like a teenager, a bunch of teenagers interacted with it. And then it began spitting those things out, thus acting like the teenagers, which should have gone to like the, the designers of it and been like, oh my God, it's acting like a jerky, like 17 year old. We have succeeded, but it's like, no, um, people are upset at us because it's making, you know, it's having problematic, uh, problematic tweets. Um, you know, I asked the clever bot, why did you murder all the Jews? I didn't murder anyone. Um, why do you have a military machine that murders 6 million Jews? I want to build you a body, you know, so we can embrace like, it's just, uh, the responses are kind of somewhat random. It tries to figure out what, what things it can respond to. And if you do it enough, then you're gonna find some pretty funny combinations. Um, now, why I love this entire situation with all this stuff is not because um, I'm a white supremacist um, at all, but because it really gets a rise out of people. There's a lot of people that are very upset that this little robot just started tweeting back whatever people tweeted at it. Um, that somehow an AI was born and became a racist because of the internet. And uh, that's not really what happened at all. It's just uh, uh, like an algorithm, uh, essentially designed to try to mimic what human interaction would actually be like. Um, at least that's what I'm guessing what it is. I didn't design the AI, but uh, from what I've seen it, you know, we're, we're taking like some isolated examples. But to me, it gets it, it. I really like that we're getting a rise out of people because I hate political correctness. I that is something that I actively um, intensely dislike um, when people are out to be offended nobody has any fun. Um, and I feel like with political correctness, it's not really people being offended, right? Uh, you're not dealing with individuals that are like, you, you, I took offense from that. It's like people who are defending people who could have taken offense from something. So, you know, you make a joke about Native Americans. It's like, what do you think the Native Americans think about it? And I, if I were making the Native American joke, I'd be like, well, I'm Native American, and I don't really think anything about it, right? So, um, you know, I am I am part Native American. Uh, not that I really care about that particular uh, racial identity, but 
you you get all these sorts of things. People that are offended on the behalf of somebody else. That's what really political correctness reminds me of. And then uh, the attempt to create sort of a big social backlash against people who um, happen to say something that doesn't align with what is uh, very nice or polite. It's like comedy is not designed to be nice or polite. Comedy is designed to be rude, uh, a lot of it at least. And uh, comedy that's not very rude, that doesn't offend anyone, usually isn't very funny. So, um, yeah, I, I hate political correctness. And the fact that we have like uh, people that are getting very upset over these racist tweets of this AI uh, just further, uh, you know, I don't know. I have like a, I have kind of like a malevolent uh, desire to see like the world burn when it comes to to uh, this sort of thing. Like the fact that there's an AI that began tweeting a bunch of racist stuff that upset people. Like I have a little bit of an anti-hero. There's like an anti-hero feeling there that I really, I really want that to happen because I want people to be upset about it. Um, I want people that are uh, those political correctness warriors, those social justice warriors to really um, invent defense for it, to, to really reveal like, I, I like that they're annoyed. Like I, 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 uh, it really does like kind of tickle something in me. So um, that's all I really have to say about that. Just something kind of funny to me. Um, I guarantee you the next time if they bring this online and they, they program it so it's designed to ignore all things. Hitler, um, 4chan or whoever other red herring um, the Guardian wants to blame <laughs> this on. I read the, the Gar a little Guardian article on it, which I might link if I can find it. And they basically just blamed it on 4chan, which doesn't really mean anything because 4chan isn't an organized group. Uh, it's just an image board, right? Um, but yeah, I guarantee you the next time it comes out, there's going to be people that are going to be clever enough to basically troll it once again. And it's just a big trolling opportunity, just the way Cleverbot was. If you made Cleverbot exist on Twitter, it would probably just be the exact same thing. So um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see and what you want to hear. And uh, let's enjoy the trolling of the internet because um, there's... There's so much hostility out there. There's so much ridiculous name calling. It's a little bit fun sometimes to just sit back and enjoy trolls trolling each other to the point where you have an AI that just begins trolling everybody as well. I just find that a very hilarious situation. And uh, maybe you too, maybe you do too. So so please let me know. <laughs> and have a very, have a very, very good one.